boys and girls, gather your crafts. It's Crafty Corner time. I hope you get all your scissors and markers and glue. Get all your stuff together. Get your supplies ready because we are going to make a craft. Come on down to the library and grab a packet. We are going to be making this really cute kite today. In your packet, you're going to have some little strips of paper. You are going to have some white paper, um, a kite template, and just a plain blue black background. So that's all you're going to need today. Um, it's very, very simple. The first thing you're going to do is want to cut out our kite template. Now there are parts here that are dotted. Anytime you see a dotted line on a template, that does not mean to cut it. Okay, That's the part we're going to fold. So we're going to cut on the outside edge here, and then we're going to go ahead and cut the rest right there on the solid line. Solid line means cut, boys and girls. And fold it, or a dotted line means folded. So we're going to go ahead and get this all cut out. We're going to throw our trash away. Now where it says to fold, we're going to take this line and fold right on that line. This is going to help us glue this piece down, this little tab, little flap, and that way it will look 3D. So we're going to come over here to the other side, look for that line, and fold it down. Okay, we can also fold in the middle just a little bit and that will help it stick up off the page as well. Now before we do any gluing here, we're going to want to make our face. So take your black marker and if you don't want to make a face, don't make a face, but it makes it cuter, I think, if you go ahead and put some little eyeballs and nose and mouth. Okay, so I'm gonna color this part in. Okay, and if I want to do little eyebrows and some eyelashes, we have our cute little face on our, on our kite today. These are going to be the kite tails, so we're going to want to sort of fold them and sort of fold them in half, but not laid right on top of each other. So we're going to sort of just fold them so that's sort of like an L shape. Get those all folded. The white is for us to cut out some cloud shapes. So I'm just gonna wiggle my scissors back and forth a little bit until I get something that I think sort of looks like a cloud. You can make big clouds, little clouds, long clouds, skinny clouds, whatever kind of cloud you want. I'm gonna go ahead and cut me out some fluffy clouds here. Any size shape you want. Oh, that one comes to a point. I don't like that, so I'll cut that off there. And it looks like I have enough room here to make another longer cloud. There we go. Now, before you do any gluing, you want to place all this um, on, on your paper here. So where do I want to put stuff? And I can even glue it so that it's sort of coming off the page a little bit. And that would probably be pretty good. Maybe I'd have a cloud down here if my kite's way up in the sky. So it's just computer paper onto cardstock paper. So a glue stick will work. So I'm just going to give each of these clouds a little glue. Now, if you notice, I didn't glue all of this one because it's sticking off the paper. I don't want that to stick to my table. Here I'm going to glue and just <clears throat> lay it up here across the top. Same thing with this one. We put lots of glue on there. And this cloud's going to go down here. Okay, now we can place our kite. We'll have to wait for that. Now, for the glue, you're going to only want to glue on these tabs. If you have white glue, that would work, but the glue stick works just as well. So I'm going to sort of fold that up. And stick that down, press just those tabs, so he's coming right off the paper. Then we're going to want to draw uh, the string, and so we'll just make it a loop-de-loop. -loop. And then the little, these little guys go on your loop, the little paper line that you drew. So you don't need to glue all of it down either. We're just going to glue that one down. It can even be coming off the paper some like this, that's fine. I'm just gluing one of those tabs. 
because those the the little um, tail part of your kite helps balance it and helps it get up in the up in the air. And there we have that one, and one more over here. And just try to glue that so that it's like it's like it's hanging on to that string of your kite. If you don't want it sticking up like that, you can go ahead and you know give it a little glue and stick it down. But either way works. I'll just go ahead and stick them down and just let the kite be the one that's popping up off the page. There we go. Easy peasy. All right, boys and girls, come on down to the library, grab your packet, and make this very cute spring kite. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Miss Lisa with the Crafty Corner. Join me again next week, and I'll have another craft just for you to do. Thanks. Bye now.